Some great companies just can't seem to catch a break now and then. Take Brunswick Corporation, BC, the world's largest maker of recreational boats, along with boat engines and exercise equipment business. A little less than a month ago, the company reported a disappointing quarter, and the stock swiftly lost 15% of its value. What went wrong? Brunswick missed on both the top and the bottom line. Beyond that, management cut their full year guidance. They said a disruption from the hurricanes, well, some weakness in exercise equipment. Now, some of this is understandable. Who wants to buy a Boston whaler during a period when the whole Gulf Coast was getting pounded by some truly nasty storms? On the other hand, though, a miss is a miss. What do we make of the story? Let's check, take a closer look with Mark Schwaber. He's the chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corporation. Get a better sense of how his company's doing and where it's headed. Mr. Schwaber, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, sir. Good to be back, Tim. Thank you. Okay, so uh, momentary disruptions or something that we have to worry about for Brunswick because you are the best at what you do. Yeah, I think I think the fact we took the guidance down a little bit talks about some things we're seeing in the marketplace right. that may continue a little bit, more so in big boats and uh, the fitness segment. But a, a reminder, the vast majority of our business is someplace else, and it was doing extremely well. Yep. Well, I mean, let's talk about the fitness for a second, because I like that business, but you said North America is slowing and Europe is slowing. I don't, how does that turn within the next couple of months? I guess it can't. Well, the fact we took the right. guidance down says it doesn't turn within months, but right. we're, we've got a number of things. We've got a great new line of cardio products that is coming out mm -hmm. that we're part of. Uh, you know, we also, from the standpoint of uh, things we're doing on the standpoint of customer solutions, moving beyond just the pure product. So at our recent analyst day here on November 7th, we had an opportunity to really talk about, you know, what that customer solutions piece will be for the business. Now, you are doing a lot of, uh, adding a lot of technology to all of, uh, uh, all of your products. One that really stuck, really stuck out for me and something that I need very badly, autonomous <laughs> docking. Now, this would be something that, uh, this and joystick are right. two things that I think a lot of people have wanted for a long time. Yeah, and the joystick is really there today, as well as what we call skyhook, holding a boat in position. Right. Uh, autonomous docking is still something we're working on, but the capabilities, you know, are really there to keep exploiting technology for marine applications. Well, let's talk about longer term, because one of the things that you do discuss is millennials and how, uh, we know, first of all, fishing is the second most popular outdoor activity. Right. But you're talking about millennials using boats in a different way um, through different participation models, boat clubs, partial ownership. Well, this has got to be a long-term trend that's positive yeah. for you guys. Yeah, no, I think I think the whole idea of, of boat clubs is, is good. Good because it, it gets people on the water. It may change to ownership over time. The other part is the fact that you know, as you get them on the water, those boats that are in the clubs are going to get more usage, right. which will translate into other new boats. But but again, it's it's really uh, going to the DNA that's within a lot of millennials about wanting to be on the water. Right, because I mean, it's a great opportunity. We live, they love Instagram. We know they love snapping. I thought that the logical trend would be millennials to family boaters to committed boaters. And Correct. These really are gateway. Yeah. It's a gateway that maybe didn't exist at one time. No, and it's, I, I think there's two places. There's, there's the shared economy around boats right. with folks like Boatbound that are out there. But the other part is, you know, there's boat clubs today, and I, I think it's going to be a certain category of boats, but, mm -hmm. but I think it is an entry point into boating. Now, let's talk about uh, the fact that pipelines are much healthier levels than the, during the downturn in the Great Recession. And we, we mentioned large boats. You said in the last session we had almost 3,800 boats. Today the number sits at 400, so there's no sense that you really have to do big discounting to get rid of them. No, and, and also a lot of times people talk about, well, what if the cycle ends? What right. about the last time? And we're in a very, very different place today. I mean, our pipelines, as you mentioned, are, are, are very different. The aging of the inventory is right. very, very different. The makeup of even what our business is today, including our parts and accessory and our fitness, which are way, way, way right. of a different business cycle than what we looked like the last time. Okay, now after uh, Superstorm Sandy, a lot of uh, boaters got checks because everybody, you can't get a, a boat off the lot without insurance. Sure. Right. Will that, is there a possible spur from that in the Houston area, the Florida area? Yeah, I think there'll be some up to, Typically, we see that happening 12 to 18 months later. Yeah. We're getting some initial stuff, uh, you know, down in the Texas market that is a little encouraging. Okay. But, you know, September through December is only 15% of the year's right. retail. Right. So they're pretty small numbers you're gauging off. 
But a reminder, one of the, where we've really been focused on uh, our engine side is around growth in the saltwater market and right. in the repower. And so Florida, Texas, you know, we're very well positioned to take advantage of the recovery. Well, terrific. Look, I think the long-term secular growth of boating is, uh, is something that has changed. That's how yes. we now have to view it. Uh, and, and same thing with exercise equipment because of all the different clubs. Mm -hmm. Correct. All right, that's Mark Schwabro, Chairman and CEO of Brunswick Corp. Tough quarter. But you know what? Multi-year growth ahead. Stay with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.